Hello guys and welcome back. So let's keep on going uh, with our eyeshader build up. Um, so what we have now after this mod ply is going to be the uh, refracted rays. So I'm going to grab everything here and hit C button and comment this guy and call this guy uh, refracted camera ray. All right, and then we need to use that to calculate uh, basically how long of a depth the ray goes through or back here to Photoshop the length of this orange one. Um, one thing we could be sure is that if you take a look at uh, what's happening when I rotate this guy, uh, put this guy here in the middle. Uh, so if the camera ray is changing, you can see the length of the yellow ray should be changing also. Okay, uh, let me make this more clear and so that we can see what's going on. All right, uh, let's let's draw some helping lines. <laughs> Control Shift N to create a, create a new layer, and let's imagine that I have this green line. And then it's going to be representing, uh, let's say, the depths. Okay. And then maybe I can choose a blue line here to represent the direction of the normal, of the Aries plane. Like this. Okay. Now I can, maybe I can just extend it. Uh, so, yeah, that's the direction of the normal. And maybe this is the unit vector of the normal. Okay. And then uh, we can also have that normal also positioned here so we can see like this line and this line, they're parallel. Okay. Because we were reading normal, we actually will be reading uh, this normal instead. Um, we'll see. You'll see that later on. Sure. So it's not, not going to be this normal. Or even it, it is that one, it's not going to make. A whole lot of different okay so anyway so what's happening here is that you can see the angle between the camera ray and the normal direction of the surface will determine the lens of the uh, the ray that travels through okay uh, the lens will be from this point to this point okay you can see it's shorter when the angle is smaller and it's bigger when the angle is bigger, right? So it's kind of like corresponding to the angle here, okay? So with that in mind, we can approximate uh, the, the, the distance change of this or the length change of this ray based on the, the angle here, based on this angle, okay? So we can calculate this angle uh, by uh, doing some simple uh, trigonometry stuff. So back here to Unreal, um, what I can do here is uh, I know the direction of the uh, the ray of the camera. Let's see the ray of the camera. Let's actually use this ray this time because uh, I think that's actually a little bit more accurate. So we know the ray of this angle. Okay. Again, it doesn't matter if we're using the camera ray or this ray. They're 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 basically also compared to the to the to the to the direction of the normal, right? It, it shouldn't make that much of a difference. Uh, anyway, so the angle between the, the orange line and then the blue line, which is the normal direction, is going to be determining the length of again the depths the ray will go through the internal of the eye. All right, so let's calculate that. Um, Back here to, to Unreal, um, we have this ray already, the direction of the, the orange ray, right, this one. Uh, we just need to uh, do a dot product to get the cosine value of the alpha. Uh, or the, so let's say this is, this, is, this is alpha, angle alpha. Okay, so to get cosine alpha, we just need to do dot product of the unit vector uh, of uh, the, uh, the orange ray and the blue ray, or 
the refracted ray and the normal direction. Okay, so we know the refracted ray already. We just need to dot product that, um, dot product that, that, this one, right, with the normal direction. The problem is the normal direction of the surface because we're gonna we're gonna apply this eventually on our surface, the surface of the eyeball. So it's gonna be a circular shape, right? Um, for that particular reason, we need a uh, a normal like that. So back here to Substance Designer, I'm gonna make one uh, right away. So here I'm gonna go create a shape node. Um, and the shape node will be uh, hemisphere because that's going to be half the sphere. Uh, one thing I was talking about is I'm, I'm, I'm using the ray or the normal direction of this concave arc, right? this ray, uh, this normal direction. So it's not going to be bulging out. I'm going to go create a invert grayscale to, to get the reversed version of it. Okay, And that goes to the transformation 2D here. And let's see, this is going to be the normal I'm going to use. And I'm going to change the intensity to 100 or maybe 150 to get this really strong contrast, a concave uh, normal, right? And this one will be then saved. Um, I'm gonna call this guy Aris Plan Normal. Okay, Aris Plan Normal. All right, uh, so when that is done, we can go back here to the uh, Unreal and then we can get that image into the uh, the editor here. So I'm gonna go uh, find my content browser and we can import it. All right, so that's the Aris plan normal. I wanna use this guy, cause this normal, which uh, this normal will actually be the normal here. The problem is Normal map is in tangent space. It's not in word space. So we have to actually transform it uh, to, to get it from tangent space to uh, to word space. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at what we have here. See, we're getting something like this. Okay. Now you can again imagine what's going on here. Um, you can take a look at this green one. It's going to go this way more, right? And it's more green uh, here. Because when you reach it here, imagine there is a concave surface, the normal direction will be much more tilted to the y direction. Same goes for the z, and then that's, x, that's y and z, right? And there's no x. Okay, take a look at that on the square. You can see they're all different from all angles. Uh, you can already see when there is all blue, you can see the direction here is basically following the direction of the, uh, the axis. Okay, in tangent space, Blue means up uh, towards the normal direction. Green means the U direction in the UV. And uh, actually, uh, <coughs> green means U direction. Yeah, that's right. And red means V direction. Oh, actually, the opposite. The red means the U direction, and green means V direction. Blue means normal direction. And that's the tangent space, right? And when it converted to, into, into word space, you can see what we're getting here is basically wherever the face is facing. So this is. Uh, green because that's that's actually in word space following the y direction the normal direction right of this face is facing y direction and that part is blue right so that means it means normal direction and because it's the same as the y direction in word space that's why it's it's completely uh, green now those guys are changing in the middle that's because we have uh, the normal map normal map here which bends the normal you can get this uh, slightly different results okay. I hope that's not too confusing, but basically what it means is that in word space, uh, what's the direction of the normal, okay? And this is in tangent space, which is transform it into normal space, uh, into word space, okay? And this guy is, in long story short, it's gonna be uh, the normal vector of the Aries plane, this, this, this uh, blue one. We're dotting those two. When we dot those two things together, what we got is the cosine alpha here, cosine alpha here. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, cosine alpha here too. Okay. Um, so the cosine alpha, uh, again, its value is going to be uh, bigger. Okay, when 
the values are when the angle is farther away and smaller when the angle is closer. Okay. Or if you understand dot product, you know that when the direction of those two things are closer, uh, the values are going to be more closer to one. If the two vectors are particular to each other, it's going to be zero. If they're going to be opposite direction, it's going to be uh, negative. Okay. Um, and convert that into the proportion ratio here. We can imagine that the depth is here and this is closer to alpha, right? And uh, what's going to happen is that if we imagine there is like a, now this is our approximation, but you can think of that as a right angle. And this one, uh, if you divide this one by cos and alpha, you basically got this length over here, right? So all we have to do is get the depths and we divide by cos and alpha, which is going to be the dot product we just calculated here. Again, you need some basic math to understand what's going on, uh, basic math foundation. Uh, the dot product is the cos and alpha because we're using normal uh, unit vector and uh, we can use the lens, the depths of the areas plan to divide the cos and alpha we've got the length of this orange uh, land here. Okay, so we don't know the depths, but we can make one real quick. And in this case, um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use a uh, radio gradient exponential because this guy, if I start previewing it, you can see that's more or less the depths. Okay, so it's deeper here in the center. It's not as deep on the edge. I'm gonna, you know, be cheap and just use this guy. So in mathematic term, if I use this to divide uh, the dot product, I'll pretty much get uh, the, the, the remapped lens. Okay. Now you can see, well, it's not that perfect yet. We can take a look at the dot product. You can see, well, the dot product will give you something like this, right? And you know that it's gonna be negative value sometimes, but you know, also know that it's not gonna be negative in reality because this one will never change direction, it just changes lens. For that particular reason, we have to do a uh, absolute to just get the lens of the dot product without uh, the, uh, the negative values. Okay, all right. So if you take a look at this one, you can see, this one you can see now, it, goes to dark and it goes bright again. Let's take a look at that. Okay. All right, cool. So one more thing we want to do is uh, soften this because it's, it's really sharp over here. You can see that value is super sharp. So instead of using absolute, we can also do like a multiply to multiply the dot product by itself. Okay, so that we're getting a softer transition here. And also I don't want it to be zero because zero is completely like, if you divide anything by zero, you got no result, right? So we have to remap this result by using a lerp. Uh, by the way, I was holding down L and click to do that. And we're lerping two values, which is this one is gonna be 0.3 something and one. So instead of from zero to one, I'm gonna remap it to uh, uh, 0.3 to one. And that's gonna be the thing we divide. We're getting something like this, okay. Now this is gonna be an approximation of the lens. This data is gonna be the, the approximation of the lens of this yellow lens. It's not gonna be exact, um, okay. But it's, it's close, okay. So we divide that. And then after the division, uh, all we have to do is basically adding it on top. Uh, or actually not adding, multiply that on top of the direction of the ray, we are getting the vector. Um, we're getting the, the actual x, y, z value of this yellow vector, okay? So what we did is here, the a input of this multiply is the unit vector of the orange refracted land that goes through uh, the internal of the eye. That's the A, right? And this land, the B, is going to be the approximation of the lens of that line. 
Okay, we time the length with the unit vector, we get the, the actual vector here now. So what we know here now, the result of that multiplication is gonna be the length, uh, actually the, the vector here. It's gonna be this vector. It's not gonna be exact this vector because we, we never really know how the curvature is changing down the way, right? So we're just basically using the, uh, the, the, uh, the proportion of the constant alpha to uh, basically calculating the lens uh, in an approximation way. And we did some soften here uh, by doing the dot product and multiply the lerp. okay. All right, there may, may be a better explanation on this, okay, but that's my understanding of this part, uh, just to get some approximation of the lens of the vector uh, and then we multiply that with the unit vector, we got the actual vector, okay. Or you can see it's, it's a really interesting color, okay. Anyway, so enough of, uh, enough of that, so let's actually stop the video now, and we can move on from here and keep on going. We can talk about how we actually use this offset uh, to calculate how much we'll have to offset the UV to fake the refraction result, okay. See you next time.